Hi all, this is Sampath. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In the today video tutorial, I'm going to show how to create a source list in SAP MM. Okay, without any further ado, let's get started. First, I'm going to create a material master. To create a material master, we can use transaction code MM01. Enter the transaction code MM01. Here, I'm going to create a material master with internal number range. Hence, I'm not going to enter the any number in the material field. Enter the industrial sector. Enter the material type. Now, press enter key. Select the required views. Press enter key. Enter the organization data. Press enter key. Here I am going to enter all the mandatory fields. This indicator is not mandatory for create source list master data. It just prevents the create any purchasing document without source list master data. Now I am selecting the source list indicator. Now press enter key. Click on S to save the material. Copy the material. Now I am going to create a purchasing document. I am going to check how this source list indicator works. We are selected source list indicator in material master purchasing view. I am going to test that how this works. Just go to the purchase order slash n me 21 n press enter key. Enter vendor enter all required data yes system giving the error message without source list master data it is not possible to create a purchase order or purchasing document okay now i am going to create a source list to create a source list we can use transaction code me01 so before creating the source list master data it is recommended to create purchasing info record so hence i am going to create a purchase info record in the transaction code me11 if we not created purchase info record how it will impact in source list that also i'm going to explain now okay so now i'm going to enter a transaction code me 01 sorry me 11 to create purchase info record so enter all the required details i'm going to create purchase info record at purchase organization level hence i removed the plant now press enter key press enter key in the purchase organization data i'm going to enter plant delivery time is five days purchasing group is 001 standard delivery quantity is 100 enter the tax code enter the amount amount i'm going to enter 25 euro now press enter key press enter key press enter key save it okay now i'm going to create source list to create source list we can use transaction code me01 i'm going to create source list manually okay enter slash n me01 now press enter key enter the plant here source list i am going to create at plant level for this material at plant level okay so for this material only i created purchase info record okay now press enter key enter the validity from date so i am going to enter validity from date is today date today is second may sorry 2nd june enter validity end date enter vendor master enter purchase organization ok now press enter key ok so now i am going to enter one more vendor so enter the same date See here for this vendor master I created purchase info record but second line item I am not created any purchase info record 
for this vendor and metal combination. Here I am going to select the fixed vendor indicator but the system never allowed to select this checkbox so because of no purchase info record just press enter key so it is giving the error message see here it is giving the error message so purchase info record is does not exist this is the importance of purchase info record in source list now close this remove this fixed vendor indicator press enter key select the fixed vendor indicator here this vendor and metal combination purchase info record is available okay now press enter key save the source list yes we successfully maintained the source list now i am going to test it i am going to create purchase reposition yeah enter slash n me 51 n so this is the purpose of source list to determine the source automatically in purchase requisition select the source determination indicator now press enter key enter the material master my material master is this one okay enter quantity quantity i'm going to enter 100 quantity delivery date it automatically takes from material master okay now enter the plant plant i'm going to enter 1000 storage location raw one and purchase group is double zero one now press enter key yes it successfully determined the source of supply so because of purchase info record and source list okay now click on check check the in the header there is any release strategy no release strategy okay now save it now we can create the purchase order copy the purchase requisition number to create purchase order go to the transaction code me21n just drag to right side find the purchase requisition column yeah this is the purchase requisition column enter the purchase requisition number and line item number also but here in this case only one line item if not maintain the line item number also it is okay but it's better to maintain the line item number going to enter the line item number now press enter key yes system brought all the data from master data like source list middle master vendor master and purchase info record all the data system copied from this master data okay now click on check now save the purchase order copy the purchase order number i'm going to release the purchase order number this purchase order okay now enter the transaction code me29n i'm going to release individual release okay click on other document enter the purchase order number press enter key click on the header release the purchase order but in the real time it is not recommended to release all three levels by single person okay yeah now it is turned to release the status now save the purchase order yes it is asking for print just ignore it that's it today video tutorial Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. See you in the next video.